Yes, sir. Guys, y'all know what it is. It is this working class zero, uh, Citizen 7. Uh, these baits are almost impossible to get your hands on, so I'm excited. I was actually to get one. Uh, this is the uh, Spectator colorway. As you can see, it's more of a, like a shad, uh, we'll say like maybe a shad, maybe a uh, crappie looking colorway. Let's get this out of the package. Just gonna walk through uh, the bait and kind of introduce it to you guys. And uh, I'm gonna walk through raking it. But uh, as you can see, out of the package, it's actually sizable bait. Really nice size. Looks like it's a large shad. Uh, I wish I could add like a big black dot, of course, on there. But um, it's got where the uh, hook goes there. Uh, I'm not going to mention what that bottom looks like. But um, yeah, man, y'all know the uh, vibes with this bait. Um, obviously, uh, fairly well known. You know, the demand for these, super high. I love the eyes, man. If you can see the details in the eyes. Just looks real good. But, uh, yeah, as you can tell, it's real soft. Um, apparently, he's also changed from, you know, pouring his own baits to uh, actually, you know, getting a factory and a staff. So you can see that toe. It's got a nice little wobble, so I'm excited to see what that's going to look like in the water. But, uh, of course, I'm matching this up with a owner flashy swimmer. This is a 10 knot hook, so you can see the size of this just compared to my hand, obviously. Big hooks, big baits. This is a uh, seven inch, two and a half ounce bait. So we're throwing another half ounce on it with this hook, uh, the only flashes from the but uh, Let's get this thing rigged up. Most of the people I've talked to suggested that you actually bend the hook out a little bit so it doesn't dig into the bait as much. Um, and I can see just from matching it up here what we'll end up probably wanting to do. Yeah, it's bend it up just a bit. Um, it may be right spot on if we can get it all the way up and situated, but um, I'll probably get my pliers and actually just bend that up just a bit. Uh, so that may be the first thing that we'll do here. All right, shout out to Coogan Squad. Get on those pliers here. Just gonna bend it out ever so slightly. And that is a thick wire hook, too. And uh, messing with big fish, you know, with big baits, obviously, that's what you need. You know, super heavy wire hook. So you can see, see if it compares. Didn't bend it very much, so let's see if I can. Just a little bit. Let's see if it'll work. Of course, want to get it in the uh, meteor part of the bait, as you can see. Uh, looks like it's a three port process. You can see kind of the layers first, second, and the third layer. The top layer being the uh, probably the most durable, the most durable feeling, anyways. But uh, I'm just going to screw this in in the most meteor part we can. It's a screw lock, so get it about like so, and it's in there, as you can see. Got that screw lock in here, and this is, it's got the little air pocket in the air, so what we're going to try and do is just line it up um, right where we might need it. Hopefully not tear up the bait too much, of course. through the top there got the weight kind of tucked in just want to even it out a bit and there it is 
And I honestly just think this is going to get bit. A little extra flash never hurt. Love those flashy swimmers. But look at that, guys. We'll see how it looks in the water.